Hello, friends. Today, I am going to show you how to draw a steam locomotive. So first, get a pencil. I chose an H pencil because they are really good for drawing. Now, let's get started. First, you do a little circle. This will be the boiler door. Next, you do another circle inside that circle and make two little lines going off of it. Next, you extend the circle to make it look like a cylinder. And finish it off like that, like so. Next, you are going, next, draw the supporters for the headlight. Now draw the headlight. It's a little cube with a circle on it. Now draw the bill frame. Like so. Now we make two little lines sticking out of the boiler. And draw a line sticking out of that horizontally. Then we connect them up with two sides of a triangle bulging up in the middle. This will be the cow catcher. Make little rectangles inside of the cow catcher. Now draw the two front wheels. These will help our train turn tight corners. Next, draw two small cylinders. You may not be able to draw the second one because it's on the other side of the locomotive. Now draw a rectangle directly in back of the boiler. Draw a rectangle on that rectangle and divide it into thirds. Draw a big square sticking out of the rectangle. This will be the locomotive's cab. Draw two large rectangles for the train's windshields. Then draw another rectangle going across. This will be our roof. Now draw two bigger wheels. One on the very end of the boiler and the other on the cab. Now, draw a square sticking out of the boiler. Then draw a little line sticking out of the square, both ends. And then finish off the little thing with a curved thing, with a curved half pipe. And then stick two small lines on top. These will be the train's whistles. Next, draw the smokestack. Draw two lines sticking out of the boiler almost parallel to each other. Draw two perpendicular lines out. Then draw two opposite perpendicular lines out. And then finish it off with a little oval at the top. You can add any details you want. I'm adding rivets and lines and framework to make it look more like a locomotive. Now for the pistons. Draw two long lines sticking out of the cylinders and draw a square where they connect at the front wheel. Do the same with the back wheel. Add spokes to the wheels. Add the locomotive's trucks. Next, add the number plate. 
You can add any types of detail you want. Now for the tender. Draw a little square sticking out of the locomotive's end. And draw a big rectangle for the frame. Then do this. And add little round balls inside of the tender, not covering up this part here. This will be the engine's coal. You can also make little sticks. Steam engines can also run on wood. You can also add flagpoles to the cow catcher to make it look more American style. Now for the trucks. Draw two small wheels at the end and two small wheels at the other end. Next, draw the trucks. You can add any detail you like, just like with the locomotive. Now for the caboose. Draw a little square taller than the tender itself. Next, draw a big rectangle sticking out of that square. Make the trucks just like you made for the tender. Next, draw a big rectangular roof just like you did for the locomotive. Next, draw some windows. And draw a big circle in the middle for the railroad's number. You can put any railroad name you want. Next, draw a little line beneath the windows and railroad plate. And draw little lines going across. This will give it the charmingly rustic wooden appearance. Add a door. Add the observation platform. And add a cupola. Using the same kind of roof technique. Now for a marker light. Draw a cane shape, an upside down cane on top of a caboose. Then make a little, a little rectangle, add a circle in the middle, add semicircles up beneath left and right of it. Add any accessories you want. If you want, you can add railroad tracks to make your drawing more realistic. Don't forget to add the smoke. This signals the train is in motion. Add the railroad ballast. Finally, sign your name. And that's how you make a steam locomotive. See you next time.